just a moment there that you thought maybe Booth can come back and take this because Sting looked awfully tired three minutes ago but now he's come back he's had a good three minutes and he can sit they can see the winning post now you get you hear the bell for round 12 you'll find that second win yeah that the 11th round um, made it so much easier for him because he showed that he puts the pressure on he's actually got more left in the tank than uh, Nicky Booth here Booth has put everything into this but he's the one being taken the punches uh, the majority of the punches throughout this fight and that takes something out of your legs and I think that's the only difference there's no superior fitness there with uh, with, with Sting, I think it's just the fact that he's added more punches. Well, in just over three minutes' time, one of these men will be crowned WBU Bantamweight Champion of the World. Will it be the Australian in blue, Nathan Sting, who came in with that belt? Or will it yet be Nicky Booth fighting for a world title? for the second time and on our scorecards Booth needs a stoppage yeah and he's not going to get it I'm sure of that now if he couldn't stop uh, Sting when he had something left in his arms he's not going to do it now regardless of how tired Sting is But you have to take your hats off to both of these men. Still looking at one opening that could explode everything, Nicky Booth, but it's there's been a few chinks in the armor of the champion but it's been no more than that every time he's been challenged sting has responded with some class yeah there's not many that allow box days to sting in the world and i think you need a punch to deter him a real punch and that's the problem maybe nicky booth tonight where is this solid hitter he's a quality performer he's not had that big knockout blow that would really struggle the champion Well, the only fight he's lost in five years, Nathan Sting, if you uh, discount a, a robbery against that Russian two or three years ago when everybody at ringside thought he'd won it, except the, the referee. He's, he's, only been he's only been stopped once in five years, and that was a first-round stoppage against Nadal Hussein, who is more than useful. So you're quite right in what you say, Nicky. If you can't put this fellow's lights out, you're going to have trouble outboxing him. Yeah. And they're still working hard. You know, you've got to give them credit. Almost 12 rounds done, and look at this. Booth trying to the very end. And of course, this could be very close to the judges' cards. You never know. They may award it a reward in progression. Well, we do see hometown decisions, Nicky, but I have to say, if this is a hometown decision, it's it's a robbery. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Things won this contest. And that takes nothing away from Nicky Booth, who's coming and giving it his best shot, had his moments but for the second time it looks like his attempt to climb his own Mount Everest is doomed to failure. Cracking good 12 rounds of boxing that. Good stuff. That's one of the fights of the year that I go as far as to say it was truly a classic fight that one. So many punches thrown and so many landed too. They were just so well matched. We talked about it right at the start, the tail of the tape. There was no great difference between them. And really, neither man was on top for any significant spell. You just felt that the better work was coming from the champion. The more sustained pressure was coming from the Australian. And that's probably going to be enough to uh, keep him his title. And the new jump. Yeah, the clever of boxing, that's what it was. He counted very well. He watched. His footwork was very good. He had a stable base and just uh, defended well. And as soon as Booth stopped punching, he came back with counters that were slightly better and harder than anything Booth had to throw. Well, these are always the moments that you dread. As a boxer, you think you've won it. You always think you've won it, of course. And he's talking to Spencer Oliver there. An old buddy of ours. Spencer, of course, always quick to dispense the good advice. But it's... Uh, 
It's close, Spencer's saying. Well, I'm not well, so sure about that. I, I think Spenny had it right. Uh, you know, it was early on, he was doing okay, but he played into his hands a bit. It's close, but that means Spencer thinks uh, Sting's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 fantastic rounds of championship boxing, the referees judges read. Judge Rex Thompson, 115-130. Judge Carl Rogers, 115-130. And Judge Howard Goldberg, 116-112. All three judges are in favor of. And still, yeah, just had that edge he's taken it on all three scorecards and nathan sting is still wbu world bantamweight champion so disappointment for nicky booth but how will his brother jason booth fare when he's up next against lunga untom teller for the ibo super flyweight championship